now let me show you how to record sales returns we've done the reversal of wrongly posted sales of 3000 now we're going to record sales returns of 200 sales returns is actually sales customer which is written by the customer for example you have sold two thousand dollars worth of goods to this customer and he noticed that out of the two thousand two hundred worth of goods are found to be faulty so he wants to return the fault faulty goods back to Sun Limited see this that's how a sales returns transaction happens okay this means uh, the sales is written by the customer back to the Sun Limited company alright earlier we sold 2000 worth of goods to this customer right so you see the arrow is, is, is coming in the reverse way back to Sun Limited okay let us do a sales returns now let me show you a T code I mean the menu path is here accounting financial accounting account receivable document entry credit memo not invoice okay invoice is to post the sales this one this one you have to use credit memo because it's considered a credit memo this transaction the tick code is FB75 over here now you have to change the customer first choose the customer customer B document date is default date ok the amount is 200 and for the GL account you have to choose the same GL account to which the sales was posted to it is this right we posted to laptop laptops account so we're going to post it let me just open up the document document to which the sales was posted to okay I don't know which account is that I mean which document number is that we just open up the document number and documents 2009 sun enter okay uh, let me just check should be this one double click here 2000 see this this is the original sales invoice that was posted using this now when you want to choose the GL account you have to choose the same GL account in your sales laptop only then you reverse up the amount from here so it is 5000 here you see 5000 not five thousand five hundred thousand yeah five hundred thousand put it simulate see this see the postings uh, customer will be created you see the minus sign here whereas in the invoice the customer was debited it's a positive sign so when you do a credit memo the reverse the, the amount will be po posted in a reverse way which means the customer will be credited and the jail account will be debited see this jail account in the invoice the jail account is credited 
in the credit memo the GL account will be debited so that the amount will be reduced accordingly let's post it see this posted you see the document number uh, is not starting from 118 series it is starting from 16 series the system will use different series number series for different type of documents for invoice documents it will use 18 for credit memo documents it will use 16 series there is a way how you configure this what number series to be used for what document type okay I will show this in the advanced training section for invoice it is configured to use 18 series that's why the number is generated from the 18 series okay, let's not worry about that let's check the document to this it's posted okay let us go and check the balances now quit quit all the way come here go to accounts this one you pull out the laptop sales account which is 500,000 all items it's loading through this This 2000 corresponds to the original invoice amount, this one, and this 200 corresponds to uh, sales returns, the credit memo that we posted just now, 200. So this is positive, this is negative, so the balance is 1008. Mm -hmm. See, 1008. This one is the reversal that we did, right? remember we for this transaction uh, we go down here reversal of wrongly posted sales 3000 so that correspond to these two amounts the net effect is zero net effect is zero minus 3000 plus 3000 net effect is three, so zero so don't look at this this minus this is 1008 now okay see the document number 16 series now let's check our customer account you cannot check customer account here because this is for jail accounts you have to go to a different report that is over here close channel ledger it's an account receivable account this one this is where you can see customer balances come here you pull out what is the customer account this one Five hundred thousand and one, one, all items. All right, let's do it now. You see this? This is the original invoice poster. This is a credit memo, minus two hundred, balance is thousand eight. It's in red color because this is invoice is still outstanding, and uh, incoming payment has to be made. Only then you'll turn to get uh, green color. Okay, that's why I show you the rate. All right, let me go to the data flow. Okay, we have done this two part: sales and then sales returns. To so customer C001. Then we have other transactions that we're going to see shortly. We have also seen this. Yep sales of 3000 and the sales returns of 3000 these two are completed too okay the next thing is we're going to see is let me just check yep incoming payment of 500 all right this one incoming payment incoming payment of 500 incoming payment means that any payments from customer to a sun limited we'll see that in the next